Hello and welcome back to another game on Arena and this is probably one of the most interesting games I've seen on Arena uh, so far on DE because it's featuring two famous players of course, Doubt playing in red and Slam in blue but it's not only that, it's uh, the strategies and what we're going to see with the Portuguese here for Doubt against the Aztecs from Slam and it's it's really about Fitoras and at level scrums. So let's see how this game is going. Um, it was a really interesting one. I think the live stream had like, or both live streams together had like almost like 1k5 US maybe. I think that was over 1k and it was like a, um, in Europe was like midday and for Slam it was like five, 600 maybe. But let's see the maps first and then uh, let's see how the map is actually going or the match. I don't really call everything that happened in this map but I know that it was a pretty entertaining game. It was quite amazing to see what the players were doing. And let's start with the main gold on the side but safe and the second gold safe in the back here for Doubt. We have the second stone safe in the back here on the main stone forwardish but not really far forward only a third gold outside and little spoiler alert and up until the end of this game doubt is not going to finish this gold because he got Fitoras, he was saying yeah, gold didn't matter and uh, therefore this gold was not untouched but it was not finished. So let's see uh, what else we have. We have three relics around Doubt's base, one here on the left, one in the middle, one on the right hand side and uh, the rest of the relics is closer to slam then. What else do we have? An extra stone on the right hand side, an extra gold in between the players in the middle of the map pretty much, extra stone on the left and uh, another extra gold on the right right hand side actually, I could have gone there, uh, really close to the slam here, extra gold on the right and then we have four slams, second gold on the side, main gold forward, third gold forward outside close to the last relic, uh, only two stones, main stone and second stone, safe in the back for slam but it's not really helpful as the Aztecs, you won't have a secure gold income. And it is Doubt who is on the way up to Feudal Age first, 20 population, which obviously indicates a trash. And yeah, this game even features a trash. I don't like it a lot. But okay, uh, let's see how Doubt is doing here. He's got a house. Does he have the barracks? No, it's just pure trash. Uh, it's Slam who's going for the barracks here. And Doubt is starting to attack the walls just before uh, hitting Feudal Age. Now building the watchtower with five villagers. And of course, the scout is continuing to try and go in. Slam saying, okay, let's go for some palisades here. Let's make sure that. Uh, ooh, double but I say it's not, it was not uh, intention of them. Let's make sure that Doubt can do a lot of damage here. That's four villages on the wall and one village in the uh, tower. I guess that's the most efficient way to go through that. Slam is very good resources. He should be able to click up to Castage if he wants to. Then again, he's getting trashed, so he usually wants to go for the uh, defensive structures here, like a watchtower and possibly eagle warriors even. And therefore, we're not going to see a fast castle, which could be too greedy here. Second tower from, from Doubt is up, but also first tower from Slam here. And obviously Slam with the two villages on gold, he's got a lot of stone, um, and stone sorry, he's got a lot of stone in the back. So he will be able to um, make more towers if needed. Also he's continuing the wall with buildings behind the palisades. It looks like the watchtower fight is not really going to anybody's advantage. Possibly to Slam as Doubt is not taking this watchtower down yet, but Doubt has to repair, but Slam is not doing the same thing. And Slam is with 300, like almost 400 food. Doubt of course lower, has got a lot of stone in the bank, maybe two much actually. That's five villagers on stone and slam uh, only two as far as I remember. Now it's four, five and the market coming up. So maybe he wants to balance his economy a little bit and try to go to castle age faster. The thing is, I'm not sure how important it is to get rid of those watchtowers if it's only the two here. The eagle scout's still alive. The scout cavalry on only five HP. So we might see one hit and the scout would be done. Uh, actually it needs two and uh, there is the eagle scout going down. So doubt here with a little bit of an advantage when it comes to that. But a watchtower of doubt is finally falling. Four villagers building next tower. Slam going with six villagers. Counter tower here. I think this villager was idle for quite some time. I didn't see it. And looks like Slam is trying to re-wall here, that's 48 HP only, that's enough and I think Slam should have gone out and tried to attack this watchtower now, which he's not doing here, surprising to me to be honest, this watchtower did not finish, Slam's tower is up, a few idle villages for him, but he's looking good, he's also close to clicking up the castle age and of course Doubt is going to be able to break out here as this wall is still only 900 HP on full and was only like 50 or 100, I'm not sure what it was. Next watchtower is coming up but Slam is saying, okay let's move forward, let's go for a yeah, nice maneuver here actually, making sure that uh, Doubt um, has to abandon this tower as he would get walled in maybe. And that's something he didn't want to do here. So Slam halfway up to Castle Age with the tower 
There's only half HP, only third HP maybe, but uh, the other two or three towers are perfectly safe here. And only one witch tower remaining from doubt. So Slam uh, is actually quite secure now. Let's see what the resources. He's got enough for two TCs if he wants to. Uh, he's going for a siege workshop in Monastery though, and that was a little bit surprising to me when I saw it on the live stream. As for doubt, halfway up to Castle Age. Slam is investing into Monastery, probably wants to get the relics, but the siege workshop is really surprising to me, as I, as I think he should have been able to take that tower down without uh, siege. Then again, you know, watchtowers can be quite annoying, especially when you want to uh, get those relics in. And now uh, Doubt is sending a few more villagers forward, which was really surprising, but he's going for that castle, and that's the first castle of the game. Uh, Slam can see it, he's sending two eagle scouts, Doubt quick walling, and it's actually working. Ah, there's a mangonel, and therefore the castle not going up yet. You can see it here, a few villagers inside the tower, now Slam is sending more Eagle Scouts. And as you can see, it was the right decision to go for a Siege Workshop and a Monastery, because you now need those units, you also need the Barracks units, the Eagles, to actually make sure this cast is not going up. Doubt is saying, okay, no, that's not going to, going to work. I'm going to cancel out my castle, I've got enough stone for yet another one, if I ever going to build one. Then it's not a big problem for me, can do it immediately. And it looks like he's moving back and is now building the castle at home, while there's two villagers, one of them might go down still, but villagers are quite fast compared to the eagles, they're not so much slower, and that's one villager that's going down, but the other one is surviving. Doubt with very uh, good tees, uh, good economy now actually, with uh, what do we have, uh, 38 villagers, that's more than I expected to be honest, and two TCs already up and running, monastery is up, the castle is up, and Doubt is only going to lose, yeah, the four buildings, of course they're down, Slam is saying, okay, let's go with my own castle, I want to secure my three gold spots here. So two of them are secure, the last one is actually quite safe inside. And it looks like Slam's the first to go up to Imperial Age, which is really surprising once again. Not sure what the plan is here, but he's on the way up to Imp with 45 villagers only. Could go for Eagles, I guess. And he's got that castle up to maybe go for Trebuchets. He should have some relics already. That's two, as far as I can see, Redemption coming up. And he's going for more monasteries even. So he is intending to go for a monk play here. As for doubt, he is halfway up to Imperial Age now with 41 villagers and ooh, Fetora. Let me look it up. I think it was 250, 250. Uh, I hope I can find it here inside the technology tree. So sorry for the um, intervention. But oh, where's the Fetora for? There it is. 250, 250. That's stone and gold. And yeah, Doubt is going for the Fetoras here. Fetora takes like 20, maybe 25 population. I'm not quite sure. I think it's 20, but it could be it could be either old or new numbers, and maybe it's 25. I'm going to find out very soon. As Doubt is up to Imperial Age within... Yeah, now it is. We have Slam 85, no, 55 HP monks. Actually, I guess, uh, no, of course, it's only coming up. But I think it was 85 at some point in the game. And Doubt is going with the first Fetora here. Now, he will need a few houses. He's going with the second monster which is surprising to me, and a Fetora, 5k, 2hp, another Fetora coming up, more houses on the way, and that's 91 population, 49 villagers, so is it, wait, and uh, I'm on doubt's point of view, 113, is it 20 per Fetora, uh, or is it more, it might be more here, uh, in the meantime we have slammed a few outposts to the front, able to take down the castle using trebuchets, doubt is not going for any military on its now whatsoever, he's got three monks, and that's pretty much it, he's got 59 and villages. So that's three Fetoras already up, 59 to 139. I think it's 20 population. Should be 30 population even, 25. Hell, I'm not sure. That's not good. Okay, I didn't look it up and uh, I don't really care as of now. Slam, a lot of monks on the field, 12 range, obviously it's 85 HP now, 80, uh, 75 HP now. Uh, Eagle warriors, but not as far as I know, you know, Eagle Scouts even only, so it's not going for the upgrades. And Doubt is actually not looking too good here. He's got one Fetora, second coming up, two, three, four, he's gonna have five of those. And it looks like a Fetora is 25 um, population then, as he was in 64 villages and 164 uh, pop. Slam is going in, but this is not going to be the end of the game. Even though he's got a very uh, strong army here, a few pikemen, a lot of monks, and the main TC from Doubt is under heavy attack. But Doubt is going for archer ranges now, he's uh, creating Arbalest. Got a university to get ballistics in, and those Fetoras are quite secure. Now, Slam has, uh, let me check, 70 villagers, and Doubt, that's the main thing here. He doesn't have more villagers than Slam, but he has those Fetora, and you can see it here, the, um, the 
food, wood, wood count, gold and stone. All is going up and now it's, uh, Doubt is saying let's move out, let's try to get a castle here. This one could be a Doubt castle, I'm not even sure. Did he get it up? The villagers going down here, a lot of pikemen uh, running after one villager but now the monks are here and I think that castle 82% is not going up, at least not yet. Now Doubt has the Arbalest prepared, full upgrades on the attack and he's able to take down a lot of monks here. He's losing quite a few Arbalest to conversions but I think it was a decent fight maybe for Doubt. Actually Slam's doing quite good here. He got a lot of conversions and he didn't lose too many monks and Doubt could have done more damage. Doubt is again sending out more villagers as this castle was not walled in, there is no ramps or anything on it and that's another 7-8 villagers coming forward to get converted. 3, 4, 5 conversions, that's way to get villagers for slam, obviously. Doubt is going with yet another cast and he's still getting that stone in without even taking stone really. But that cast is not going up and Doubt is saying, okay, too many traps around, let's not risk it. And the castle that is unfinished is also slowly going down here. Doubt going with the barracks now, interesting to see. He's probably trying to counter eagle stand. There's a lot of eagle warriors now on the field, 3 plus 4 defense, which is really good against the Arbalest already, and Slam obviously wants to go for the eagle warriors. On the left hand side, a few houses, outposts for Slam here. On the right hand side, he's taking the extra gold. In the middle, there's still Arbalest and Slam. How are your resources looking? He's low on food, only 34 farmers, which is okay for the Aztecs, I guess, but in the long run, you want to have more. 107 village is a really good number. Only problem for him is he doesn't have a way to counter these Arbalest other than Elite Eagle Warriors now, and those Elite Eagle Warriors are not fully upgraded on the attack, which is giving uh, them um, decent uh, ability to, uh, to withstand those Arbalest with 4 plus 4, but they're not going down so fast, and it looks like Slam either needs Sea Germs or Onages here to be able to count this, or of course Elite Skirmishers. And I think Slam is already putting on the Art Ranger, so we're gonna see the fully upgraded uh, Elite Skirms from Aztecs with that lateral, which is a really, really powerful upgrade as we're going to see. Now, Doubt is taking the uh, gold on the outside. There's a few villages on that second gold that I was talking about, but I think they are not gonna be there for two long. Doubt 50 villagers but 5 Fetoras and his population capped as he is on 49 military that's 50 so maybe a Fetora is still only 20 uh, population. I guess it's 20 and I thought 20 right. Uh, we have 50 here, we have military units. 50 for Doubt, yeah, so 5 for Taurus up. Elite Eagle Warriors now moving in with plus 1 attack, at least those Arborists are pretty much dead and there is Elite Skirmishes already. Uh, with a good amount of damage output, missing chemistry and missing Atlatl, as far as you can see, as well as one defense upgrade that Aztecs still get. I think they're missing the last one. We have uh, Slam not finding anything else inside his base, but still taking the gold on the right hand side, uh, taking the gold outside of his base. And Elite Eagle Warriors uh, were dominating for a while, but now Doubt is saying, okay, let's go with Champions and Hand Cannoneers, actually. So these Elite Eagle Warriors will have a tough time. And champions should be decent against the elite skirmishers. Then again, they have nine range and eight attack, and uh, that's quite a lot for those elite skirms. So uh, the champions with one plus four, I think it is, still taking three damage at least. And uh, looks like doubt and slam pretty neck and neck here. Uh, Stout is with uh, the five Fetoras getting a lot of income for gold, wood, food. As you can see, he's spending a lot of food. He's got a castle on the left hand side. He's still taking gold here. And he's moving forward hand cannoneers and champions to now claim the extra gold. There's like 800 left. In the meantime, we have a few single units going down here. Champions getting sent forward. And this game actually at this point uh, is pretty much unpredictable. Who is going to win this? Like, you wouldn't think that Fetoras are going through, but Fedora apparently, if you can survive, the first push that Slam was trying to go for, but Doubt was able to defend here. If you can survive this, then Fetora are quite strong as you get stone for, and that's another story here. Bomber Towers coming up for Doubt, and those Bomber Towers are gonna give Slam quite a hard time, as you will um, experience very soon. Those Elite Skirmishers, though, they are hard to, to beat, and there is a lot of them. 58 Hand Cannoneers cannot do anything against these, and even the Champions are not really too strong against those, as they're mostly going down before even reaching them. Slam has two units swordsmen on the field, but there's the Bomber Towers, two of them already up in the middle. Uh, Siege Workshop coming up here on the left-hand side, Elite Skirmishers uh, harassing the gold, and Slam, I doubt, has no villagers on this gold any longer. So this gold is pretty much uh, sitting um, untaken. We have two bomber towers going up on the right hand side, Slam with the tower from before. I think Slam needs to address this as the bomber towers can be quite annoying. You can see it here, one woodline abandoned, those farms are really 
uh, useless at this point. Then again, Slam is moving forward with a lot of elite skirmishes. It's got a good amount of champions missing uh, Garland Wars, but that's pretty much all they're missing. I think the rest is done. And a lot of champions here from Doubt moving to the right hand side. It looks like he's going for a counter attack here. Actually, he's going in with the villagers. The town center is going down to those bomber towers, and there's more towers coming up here from Doubt. So Doubt is going for the counter attack. And I want to slow down as I want to see what's happening in the front as well as in Slam space. In the front, uh, Doubt has one castle here to protect him to it um, of the trebuchets attacking, but Doubt is sending a lot of champions. One trap going down to... was it a bomber cannon? Yes, there's the bomber cannon left. In the meantime, in Slam space, there's another bomber tower up. Uh, this one should not go up here, but the champions are moving in and therefore Slam is in trouble. As those bomber towers plus champions, that's a really strong force and Slam did not send back his units. Instead, it was going more forward here with the elite skirmishes and champions, which is a mistake in my opinion. He should have moved the elite skirmishes back. That would have helped him a lot like this. Star Slam is going to lose the TC probably and there is more bomber towers coming up. Doubt, as we all remember, is still getting stone and gold in from the Futura. So he's fine in that regard. He's taking gold here on the right. He is not taking the gold on the left here, but he is very busy inside Slam space where one TC is going down and thinks Slam at this point in the game has one TC only and he's going to lose more villagers. So it's not looking too good for Slam here. Those three towers are going to help a lot, but the main gold is running very low. Uh, below 200 and Stout was able to take down the trebuchets I mentioned with the bombard cannons. Now he's using organ guns to fight this army and Slam is finally pulling the lead skirmishes back but Doubt is doing so much damage inside Slam space. Slam has to score lead but Doubt has an advantage here in my opinion and Slam needs to move back immediately. He's not doing it yet. The lead skirmishes moving back forward once again. Bom uh, organ guns may not be the best uh, unit here. That's um, one problem Doubt probably has uh, that he can not really find a way against those elite skirmishes. I'm not sure about rams or ranchers, but bomber towers are looking very strong. And now barracks coming up in, in slam space. Uh, very back uh, where you would expect to have to secure a space of your base. There are the bomber towers. The monastery with the how many? Two verdicts? Uh, that's not, I think Doubt has three relics somehow. He picked them up. Uh, that's No, he's got two. Slam should have three then. Uh, let me find out. Yeah, one and two, but uh, that's really not the big, uh, biggest point as of now because Slam has seven farmers, 61 food. That's it. A lot of idle villagers in the TC. Now he's finally sending those champions to get rid of those uh, bomber towers and uh, raiding champions. In the middle, we have organ guns moving forward together with the champions, and I think those organ guns are not so bad here. What do you do against those elite skirmishes? You could go with the elite skirmishes of your own, but they are not going to be as strong, I guess. I'm not sure about how the upgrades for Portuguese on the elite skirmishes look. And I guess ramps. Do Portuguese that get siege ramps? If you get siege ramps, that would be really helpful for, for Slam as well, though. If you want to break this, you need either trebuchets or siege ramps here. Uh, champions raiding on the left hand side here. Um, village again taking gold. Village is taking gold here. Two battering ramps uh, waiting for their attack on the bomber tower. And it looks like Slam is finally able to clear most of this forward. Uh, at least uh, from what's left of his base, there is no enemy units. But there's a lot of idle farms here. There's still bomber towers and Slam has a trebuchet here to start and take down these towers as well as the barracks where Doubt is still producing champions. In the middle, Slam is sitting behind that castle or next to the castle, but there is one single bomber cannon attacking it and it looks like it's not going to go down too fast here. On the right hand side, the battering ram is approaching with two champions to protect the tower, I imagine. On the left, champion still doing some raidings. And yeah, now Doubt is actually not looking too good. He's running out of steam. He doesn't have resources left. He's got 18 villagers only. And that's just not enough, in my opinion. Even with the five for Taurus, that's not enough food to get. Is Doubt producing villagers here? Uh, no, he's only got one TC. The other one he lost. And he's not producing any wills. He's trying to go for the champions. And at, that at that point in the game, Slam was really surprised that Doubt didn't follow up with anything else. He thought maybe Doubt was trolling, but Doubt just didn't have the resources. He couldn't afford more champions, he couldn't really afford too many more bomber towers and with only 18 villagers it's no surprise. He lost too many or maybe he uh, suicided too many of them and that's not enough economy. So Doubt I think needs to go for a few more builds. He's uh, trying to go in the middle but Slam has so many elite skirmishes here. That's at least 50 or uh, 53 that I can see now and those champions don't stand a chance because it's just not enough, enough of them. And even the Oregon guns with 4 pierce armor. It's not going to work really. We have uh, Bomber Towers, that's the only thing that is keeping Doubt in the game as of now. 
now that Sparrow is not going down yet. Uh, a, little bit a few champions fighting a farm because, yeah, why not? Doubt probably doesn't see them. Doubt is sending more champions still. I'm not sure how he's doing it. Maybe he's buying food even. How's the price is looking for food? Wait here, I have to go here. Uh, 53. So Slam could make a lot of gold from food if only he had food of his own. That's uh, one big problem from Slam. Wait, I want to go here. Uh, Slam has 31 farmers now again, but only 60 villagers. And he was on like 7 farmers, 6 or 7, what was it? Not sure. Now there's 3 champions, but one Jaguar should be good enough to kill most of them maybe. Yeah, they're not fighting together. And that trebuchet should survive. Doubt in the meantime is getting a pushback in the middle by a lot of elite skirms. Doubt has no thing to do against these. And I'm not quite sure what uh, would work against elite skirmishes. Of course, onagers, of course, bombard cannons if you have a lot of them. Uh, maybe rams, maybe light calf even. Um, Doubt is staying with the champions now. Uh, they are fully upgraded. They're doing the damage here. And it looks like Doubt is going to try to get more villagers killed. Those barracks are still alive. Uh, finally, the trebuchet is taking down the barracks as well. There's another bomber tower coming up. Uh, Slam should stop this one. And champions trying to move in, but now Slam is saying, okay, let's move back with my own army. Let's make sure those uh, raiders are not continuing. And I can tell you, this is not the end of the game. It's not going to be like this. Doubt is losing most of his army now, and it's over. Uh, which he's doing right now. There's not too much military left for Doubt below 30 at this point. Still got a few champions in the middle, but Slam has to fight everywhere and all, uh, all the places where Slam is building some economy, like the TC here, uh, the farms here inside his base. Doubt is trying to raid with the bomber towers, with the champions. Now Slam has his main army safe at, uh, back in, at home and is trying to secure his, um, uh, um, his base for once, his arena. We have only two champions inside these barracks. And uh, one trebuchet left. This is so important. Slam has a castle, he has a trebuchet. He still got three relics as far as I know. And uh, Doubt is still keeping the fight outside of his own base. So Slam actually is looking okay, but is not really looking good. He um, is chopping trees here on the left as the right hand side is still occupied by those bomber towers. But finally, the barracks going down. This bomber tower should not go up. There's a lot of elite skirmishes still, 40 of them at least. Uh, Slam with 93 military units, which is so much. And he should be able to finally take down Bomber Towers. The barracks are next. This Bomber Tower should fall. And Slam for once is uh, finally able to uh, like claim the farms here on the right hand side of his base. And village is repairing the Bomber Tower. That's not going to work, I guess. Now, in the meantime, though, is saying, okay, you're basically at home. I'm going to take down your castle. I'm taking down Archer Ranges. Even a monastery with one relic. And the skirmishes are not going to be able to take down traps too fast. Then again, the champions are falling like flies. Not entirely like flies, but they're not looking too good here. And uh, Doubt is sending villagers forward. He's on 26 again. So he went for a few wills here. He's still not taking this gold. Still got a 5 for Taurus. The castle is up. And a decent amount of farms, I guess. Um, we have the final barrack going down. I guess it's going down. Uh, but the bomber tower needs to fall first. On the left hand side, the bomber tower is up on that little wood patch. Another one may be coming up. Uh, champion stole close. And does uh, Doubt have. Doubt does not have murder holes apparently. Slam once again trying to claim the middle as he is walled off the right hand side. The last bomber tower falling, the last barracks is gone. In doubt at this point in the game, not really looking too pretty, um, but on 140 population technically, uh, 30 military units only, and that's quite bad. He's got enough stone for another castle if he wants to work for more bomber towers. He's got two traps here. He's still got barracks, but he's not producing anything. Uh, could we see uh, elite skirmisher transition? from doubt uh, not as of now he's not producing any more military units which is really surprising to me he's got a few resources he's got 4k not a slam sorry 4k wood no doubt has, doesn't have so many resources slam is 4k wood now so he should maybe go for a few more um, uh, wood just and now slam is trying to move in again but there's that castle and that castle is not allowing slam to do any damage here he could maybe move in on the right hand side but the thing is the are not dying fast and i think slam yeah he's doing it it needs siege trams for that so doubt um going with cavalier now and the cavalier is a really a little bit of surprise to me. I think Lightcalf might have done better here, but uh, Doubt is getting gold in, so the Cavalier trying to do some damage here on the lead skirmishes, and Doubt has stables on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side a few stables are coming up here. He's still got two relics, and he's going for more champions. He can, somehow he can afford Cavalier here. Um, did he have another choice? Elite skirmishes, maybe Lightcalf a possibility. Uh, Pikeman doesn't really make sense. Some Siege, maybe some Onagers against those Elite skirms. They could have done some damage. Also, there's Siege 
three trams now, so Onages might have been a very good choice here. And once again, Slam is getting raided as the Cavalier are going in. So Slam is busy at home. One Cavalier here far in the back. Let me slow down a little bit. Let to give my laptop the opportunity to breathe a little bit. And Slam is open. Here's an opening, there's an opening. And even this with the Palisade wall, this is technically an opening which Doubt could use. On left hand side, Slam is over dropping. So Doubt is going to try to raid Slam as long as he is safe here. He can do this. He's not really safe, but he's able to defend for now. Um, we have a lot of pikemen and elite skirmishers, but only one siege ram left. No trebuchets here. Slam, at, as far as I know, doesn't have a castle. That is so damn important to get trebuchets here. You don't have bombard cannons. You need to get close to the castle, but Doubt is not allowing Slam to do uh, Slam to do it. And there is light cavern on the field, fully upgrades. I think the Portuguese are missing hussars, but fully upgraded light calf can do damage. And Slam is now trying to get a decent siege army going. A ram train would be good against those uh, that castle. Uh, then again, the castle getting protected by buildings around a lot of barracks and um, those. Uh, champions here, elite skirmishers hitting the champions. Obviously, we have champions left and side now trying to go for the stables and for the light calf. The light calf are moving forward once again. Uh, I guess I can go a bit faster. And there is an opening which Slam is not going to be able to close. He's getting a house here, but this village is too late. Again, light calf moving in, trying to do the damage. And Slam once again has to move his army back. He's going with the pikemen to follow up those light calf. Uh, Slam on 78 villagers. That means 119 military units. Look at this army and he's got sea trams to take down at least the walls here uh, giving him a little bit of an opening we have doubt now uh, raiding once again he's going for those villages and doubt 36 but slam only 49 villages and that's all economy yes doubt still has the Pretoria, obviously and doubt is following up with organ guns against the elite skirmishers he is that's his choice of units i think on just might have been better but uh, quite expensive here and the organ guns can do area damage as far as i remember not too many and uh, too much though and there is sea trams now approaching those organ guns uh, doubt is actually going with the second castle not going for bomber towers here but the castle which uh, I guess technically is cheaper. Doubt needs his gold for some uh, something else for other units. And uh, Slam is open on the left. Is this an opening? Possibly. Uh, he's over chopping the tree and now Doubt could go in the left here. He's walled this. This is still not walled. Light Cap could still find an entrance. On the left hand side, as Seachamps now attacking these buildings, uh, he, uh, Slam was also able to clear the stables on the right hand side, something I didn't even see. I think at some point it is, uh, in the stream, um, we said, yeah, you could wall a Doubt. Can you a Doubt wall? In doubt, is that an option? Can you actually make sure they're not getting rid of by putting walls here? Actually, friendly, lum uh, friendly lumberjacks um, uh, cutting trees one by one and one after one next to another. But uh, doubt is saying, okay, let's try to go for some raiding slam. Found the hole inside his base with the overchop here, going for a house. He even fixed uh, this little hole here, and now Slam with 110 mili military units should move forward. He's not able to go for a castle here. But he's got a decent amount of food and he could possibly sell some of that. Uh, food price is quite low again, but not too low. On the right hand side, a few more stables going down, which Doubt apparently put up. On the left hand side, uh, Doubt is trying to go in, but not happening. That lumber camp is something I don't like as it's still threatening to overchop. Should have put it here and take the lumber to the edge of the map. And Doubt with the two castles with a lot of organ guns, a few trebuchets, champions behind it, once again is quite safe. He's got a few more stables here, but not producing anything. Doubt is low on economy. 26 villagers only and I think he should have more. Maybe the Fatora are not ideal for defending but for attacking I'm not quite sure here. Uh, I was thinking when I watched the stream yeah Fatora is actually perfect for Doubt. He can focus on the micro doesn't need to go for the macro here so it's easier to micro when you can uh, give your full attention and Slam not a lot of gold. Doubt uh, a lot of nothing here actually but again a decent amount of military units. 69 perfect number now it's 70 and he's trying to go in but the light are not gonna find an entrance now you can see it here on the left hand side, Slam for now is walled and uh, is safe through the woods. Uh, and these holes are walled and Slam is actually going for the walls here. He's walling in the right hand side stables. Doubt is now facing sea trams, elite skirmishers and champions. A lot of them actually, fully upgraded everything. And Doubt is moving out with the champions. Uh, Bomber, uh, uh, sorry, the organ guns behind it. And there is the sea trams moving forward, elite skirmishers in the mix. We have a... Uh, 
Siege Worldship going down, I think. And now Doubt uh, is trying to hang on to his life. He's trying to defend for as good as he can, but he's losing more and more units, 32 military units against 90 still. But the Siege Rams are not able to approach the castles. They should probably attack the organ guns or maybe go for the barracks here in front of the castles. But Doubt is able to defend somehow, and this is quite amazing. On the left-hand side, he's going for two more stables, so maybe he wants to try and raid again on the right-hand side. He's got a few stables here. Doubt, though, is low on economy. He's got 16 farmers, 9 lumber uh, checks. That's pretty much it. Not sure about the other villages here. 28, it says. But I can only see 25 working. Maybe it's good. Three builders or something that I don't see. I don't know. And Slam actually should be able to take this game now. He's got um, the better economy. Not really. But he's got more army on the field. And therefore, he is able to get... Uh, to keep the army numbers high. And that castle should finally go down. Doubt doesn't have villages around to repair it. He's got a lot of stone, actually. He's gone for elite organ guns, which is... In my opinion, a mistake because he's not going to be able to do a lot of them, and he needed something against those elite skirmishers and champions. And maybe his own skirms could have done the job. Maybe skirm arbiters com uh, combination. Maybe for bomber towers in the mix. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. But Slam for now has the army on the front and is able to take down buildings. The monastery should go down sometime in the near future. But one hour and 42 minutes in the game is not over. Doubt is not beaten here, and Slam is still trying to beat him. And somehow Doubt is a survivor. And is not easy to take down. Slam is going to try it, obviously. Uh, let's see how Doubt is going to defend this. We have one trebuchet hitting the castle. That means Slam was able to buy a castle somehow. I guess he bought it. I don't think he mined any stone because there should have been no stone left on the map. And that castle is getting repaired by Doubt now. We have Elite Skirmishes on the side moving in, champions to the front, and that's a lot of Essex champions. 42 HP, I think they should have just moved in, take down the castle by hand. Doubt has 15 champions here, now a few more. Uh, total of how much? 22 military units, but that's it. And did the Elite Skirmishes go down now? What happened? To the castle maybe, or to organ guns? I didn't see it. But somehow Slam lost most of the Elite Skirmishes, a few of them coming um, from behind this. Slam, 27 lumberjacks and not enough wood. Uh, that's something I haven't seen too often. Now Slam is over chopping once again. Those three trees are all that's uh, standing between light cap from doubt if he got some which he doesn't right now and slams open base actually he's got three light cap they might try to move in here and there's the opening in the wood line so uh, we might see slam again curse a little bit as he is getting raided probably yeah let's see if he can react quick enough that's only three light cap but three light cap can be quite annoying and in the meantime we have uh, doubt still repairing the castle the trebuchet hitting that and the champion still not moving forward doubt now with a decent amount of champions 33 at that uh, but against 50 that's huge and it's going just behind this now there's the light cap coming in trying to raid going for the lumberjacks here and uh, slam now with a decent amount of wood at least but there is four five light cap already slam finally realizing uh, is saying ah, damn it i over chopped again uh, going to uh, fix that immediately and there's the big fight happening at down space where the castle is still getting repaired actually the village is idle now i guess it wasn't full hp and doubt is still not able to take down that trebuchet or slam's army one single light cap yeah poor guy is going down obviously but slam is getting raided once again and doubt uh, he was doing it really well in my opinion he was going for so many ratings that slam was quite frustrated here and slam is not able to get rid of that final castle but the monastery went down so now slam would be able to take the relics doubt could go for them too is he getting a monk already no he's only getting a gold in very slow here and he's finally attacking the champions but thanks to e the champions were not really attacking and that one organ gun uh, is trying to attack the trebuchet i mentioned but there's two villages repairing it and that one trap is still trying to trap down the castle left a few pikemen now defending slam space slam on 48 villages again only 48 but it's got enough uh, food to make more and is slam going for any monks here no only one monastery uh, doubt going for the monk no i don't see it um but those relics gonna get picked up in the game i think so it's not gonna be over until those relics are picked up we have Doubt with two organ guns trying to go for those elite skirmishes. They could do some damage, but uh, Slam can easily make more of those. That's the big problem for Doubt. He won't get that economy lead that he would like to have, and he cannot really use the stone and, and 
uh, other than comparing the castle, he's not gonna have enough stone for a second castle, which he would need. He hasn't, doesn't have a lot of gold income, to be honest. And those 12 lumberjacks maybe uh, should uh, be rerouted to gold, so maybe gold is a problem, but the main problem is the doubt. Even though he has five fatores, he doesn't have enough economy. And once he's going for enough economy, he doesn't have population space for the military units. So the fatora, maybe they can work, but I don't think they work over a, an entire game that is taking like two hours. Doubt is the first to pick up the relics. There is a monk for doubt. Is Slam sending in a monk? Maybe. I don't see it. Maybe it's on the way already. There is the monk for Slam. Can Doubt pick up the other relic? No, Doubt does not see it. And Slam is the one who is going for that relic now. Uh, he's picking it up and going back. So Slam is stealing one relic from Doubt. Um, that's probably a very big insult to his master. Um, Majesty to the Lordship and Doubt with 22 against still 72 military units now. There's a second trap to hit. I guess the castle very soon. A few bombard, a few organ guns, a few champions. But that's it. And Slam, I think, in a very comfortable position now. Uh, pretty much the same resources and the income might be. I'm not sure better for Doubt here, but Slam is able to keep his army numbers up and he's taking the better fights. The KD is not so far apart. Actually, there's the two stables that uh, Slam might want to take down, but Slam walled behind this. He's got one wood line here. He should have gone for the wood on the right hand side, to be honest, but that's okay for now. And Slam is finally able to take and uh, do some decent damage on that castle. Seven villages is not enough to repair a castle against two trebuchets, and elite skirmishes are not going to allow those uh, champions to move far forward. Uh, to the traps so the castle is actually finally going down doubt is open in front of his base and there is the champions moving in elite skirmishes behind this doubt um, with low resources uh, very low on gold did not go for any more uh, gold villages here and there's the champions moving in i think slam is going to follow up with uh, sea traps if he can afford it on the left hand side yeah the stables are not producing uh, doubt cannot really do a lot he's only going for champions here but slam just has the numbers advantage and also elite skirmishes they are doing so much damage to those champions Atlantic skirms are just very very good here trebuchet is moving forward and doubt is calling it gg here what an amazing game one hour and 56 minutes a showcase of fitoras atlantic skirms champions bomber towers and so on i hope you enjoyed this game i think it was one of the best games i have seen in a long time see you next game and gg